hello guys hello everyone and uh, today video i have something that i want to be sharing with you today and i don't want you to leave this video too early because if you do that there's no doubt you're going to miss the main juice in this video and of course if today's the first time you are probably hearing my voice my name is joseph benson make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification icon in case i have a brand new video just like this one of course you will be notified today video i have uh this wonderful video i want to be sharing with you um a lot of price action today and today no indicator clean chart and everything will be super super clean okay and today video is going to be a great review because i want to review the quoting for you how you can possibly understand understanding this trend of a team and price action and key levels all together put in place is very very important for a, even a beginner trader uh, and even if you're a professional it's also very very important for you to understand and how you can start using it to make a um, good amount of money but i you know one thing about it that the whole thing about price action is very very good because you can apply it on all the asset forex crypto option stocks and indices and all of these things will work together once it's come to price action and structure okay but before we talk more about this let's roll in the intro when we turn with back let's talk about the whole thing step by step okay good people welcome back today i am not sharing any indicator with you i'm having a naked chart then i will be showing you wonderful price action how you can possibly start understanding um support and resistance level in 2022 2023 especially those of you who are knowing me maybe for the very first time i will be showing you how you can like spot key levels concrete key levels i am on um uh nzd usd i'm talking about the new zealand dollar against the United States dollar then i will be showing you market structure what it takes to understand support and resistance and how you can start making money with them point of reversals okay i normally call them point of reversal because those are places where market do really really change let me quickly move to one of our time frame and before we dive into this video let me ask you what are support and resistance um resistance level is where the price the buyer push the markets to a certain limit and then they couldn't push forward um, uh, more further any longer and then the, the sellers take the market take in charge of the market and start pushing the market down that is resistance i repeat again resistance area is in a simple layman language so you can understand resistance level is a place or a point where the sellers the buyers are not willing or are not bold enough or they are not much buyer in the market to push the price above that level and then the sellers take over the market at that time and start pushing the market downward that is resistance level while the support level in the other hand it's the level whereby sellers will push the market to one particular limit and then they couldn't push any further and then um the buyers take over the markets and then support level was formed at that particular level now this is my chart on the one hour time frame and when it comes to support and resistance you will start looking at the higher time frame but then we'll talk about the lower time frame so this is how it looked like and then let's support a very concrete support and resistance let's move to the uh the one hour four hour time frame and then let me show you a few things and also we can even move to the daily time frame and then spot the main support level the daily time frame will show you the overview of how the market looked like and the one thing i want you to know about the daily time frame the daily time frame will really show you um each candlestick is equal to one day on the daily time frame and on the four hour time frame each candle is equal to four hour okay now let me just pick a line a horizontal line and then fix it here and then pick another one and then i fix them here all right and i also pick one here and then i fix it here now once you are taking note of your support and resistance you need to make sure um the candle wicks touches the line if there are two or three candle wicks at that particular time or shadows make sure they do touch the line so take a look on how i'm gonna add this i'm gonna add this here one two three four uh, touches so now you can see how you can add your support and resistance level right at that spot now also let's pick another line and then fix it here let's make sure the two of these weeks above touches the first and the second uh week touches uh the whole thing like this and this is how um, it is so now this is how to take your support and resistance level the first thing you need to do um if you want to understand it i know many people are not really talking about this you need to go to the higher time frame and think one day which is the daily time frame 
will totally do it and that is how or where i do normally take uh, my support on resistance to determine where the market is heading to and then how i can take advantage of the next move or the next support on resistance in the market i could possibly set an alert and then after setting that alert i'll go ahead and start making money right away now that i'm on the high time frame um i think it's absolute time for me to go back to the lowest time frame so i'll start from the four hour time frame now on the four hour time frame you can see i'm already on a resistance level okay and if i dive back a little bit and you could you should be able to see i am on the very gross resistance level and so on you can see that it was preferably support level now this is the four hour time frame and you can see where i am and then those are one of some of the good support level that i you can see probably see in the past <clears throat> And then you can see we have a good support levels here. This is how you can point. Make sure uh, one or two of the lines really touches um, of the shadow or wicks at the top really touches uh, the support level. This is how to take and spot a support level from the higher time frame to the lower time frame. Because most of the times I don't like trading on the higher time frame. I trade from one hour time frame is just the best time frame for me. I always make emphasis on that. So you can do that and then check it down to uh, 30 minutes 15 minutes even five minutes if you choose to do that for me i stop on the one hour last so this is a very concrete support level resistance level right now at the top that i'm looking at and this is how you can start uh checking your levels and then uh, start making money with it what makes a support level or a resistance level a level uh once price is reaching that particular place you start getting um a lot of candlesticks start creating shadows and wicks and uh, shadows and then if you are reaching the support level you'll be seeing candlestick creating wicks uh shadows sorry at the top they are creating wicks something like that um now this is four hour time frame anyway so quickly let's move to the one hour time frame and on the one hour time frame you can see how it looks like and then beautiful now this is the time where i like to take to take a shot for myself you can see this is it has been tested okay uh this level has been tested okay you can see that it has been tested and here too you can see it has been tested here and then here it will test again and still hold all right and i'm talking about here you can see it tested here and then it remains it tested here it went back and there's possibility of also testing it here and then it remains and then the price will now push down below and then you can be in this moving trend moving trying to like cash this very uh move out easily now this is how simple all right to begin to take a um, lot out of it now i am i like from four from the daily time frame i take my support level if you understand how i do it and I, then i move to the four hour time frame i check it properly then i move straight to the one hour time frame that is the time frame i am taking my shot for either buy or sell and then the key levels there is super super useful take a look at the whole thing it's super clean now if you come here you should be able to notice uh what i'm trying to let you know um look at how the price were dangling here okay and you know the point is this is how it happens anyway you can see when price reached this level it tested this level and then never crossed the level you can see they are really really creating a lot of shadows below before the price spike to that level now this level is trying to let you know that this is an absolute support level and that's it so there's no any other thing to do but something really happened a few hours later later you can see the market consolidate and amazingly it break above again to the next high and this is how you can understand the market structure super easy and that's it guys so i am happy that i'm sharing this with you today because i know it wasn't easy at all and this the same thing i want to show again it happens here you can see uh price uh on getting to this level they start creating a lot of shadows or sorry weeks you can see all the countries are creating this weeks then before the price finally push down again it happens here and then the price move up again like that you should be able to get the most out of it all right so quickly let me also take you back to the daily time frame and then this is how our daily time frame look like and this is how the whole thing look like beautifully and when we move to the four hour time frame in case you should be able to see that this is where you are and you can see you will be able to spot your your key levels perfectly okay spotting your key levels spotting your key levels is super simple with this strategy and then if we move to the one more time frame again you can see <clears throat> the whole thing is looking clean and nice and good 
for you to decide how you want to trade it i don't want this video to be too long anyway but i do hope you learn a little bit about um how to perfectly get um your key levels uh, straight and normal and then the same thing if you come to any of the time frame uh, i'm on the uh um gbp us right now let's me let me move to the daily time frame and then i can quickly move uh do the same and this is my support level here and my resistance level all right and then this is another uh, support level here that i'm having um yeah so you can see here yeah, something really happened and then um, i can also pick another support level here all right so quickly let's head over to four hour time frame you can see clearly it's been spotted <laughs> there's no way about it take no way this is this is amazing take a look clean all right this is clean support and resistance and then it worked through um beautifully and that is it guys so now that we're on the four hour time frame if we shift to the one hour time frame uh the same thing really really happened and see that it's super clean uh the support and resistance is properly well defined and then you can see that um previously it was also resistance level and then that's it so when we zoom it back uh you can see how it looks like and then beautifully um it's out of it now this is how once again to support support and resistance level if you want to make the most out of it um that's this guy so i don't know but if today's the first time you're, you're hearing my voice my name is joseph Benson. make sure you subscribe to my channel and click on that notification icon in case i have a brand new video just like this one of course you will be notified i still want to thank you guys so much for your time to always sit back to watch my video to the end i really really appreciate your time and effort to always uh kind of sit back and watch my video to the end i really really appreciate you guys thank you once again for your time um hopefully i'll see you guys on my next brand new video but until then i want to say bye bye for now